From Seed to Sunflower, a Life Cycles book. From Seed to Sunflower, written by Dr. Gerald Legg, illustrated by Carolyn Grace. Plants use energy from the sun to make food. Minerals in the soil also help plants to grow. In this book, you can see how a tiny seed grows into a beautiful sunflower. In autumn, the seeds of fully grown sunflowers fall to the ground. A seed contains the tiny plant and the food the plant will need before it starts to grow. A sunflower seed. The seeds are buried in the soil. The soil contains minerals. Minerals are special foods that help the plant to grow. In spring, the warm sun and rain make the seeds begin to grow. This is called germination. The seed lies buried in the soil all through the winter. The tough seed coat splits. Then the first root grows out. It knows that it must grow down into the soil. Soon afterwards, a shoot will sprout, pushing the seed coat out of the soil. It knows it must grow up into the air. Root, soil, seed coat. Food stored inside the seed helps the plant to grow. Smaller roots begin to sprout from the larger roots. The roots collect minerals and water from the soil to feed the growing plant. A bud hidden between the seed leaves pushes away the split seed coat. Seed leaf, main root, smaller root, split seed coat. The young sunflower grows taller and more leaves sprout. The leaves use air, water, and sunlight to make food. Flower buds form and the roots grow longer. The roots take in water from the soil and help to hold the sunflower steady. Roots young leaves, garden snails, ladybugs. The flower bud grows at the top of the stem. Later, it will open up into a large flower head. Each flower head is made of lots of tiny flowers packed together. These tiny flowers produce seeds. Stem, flower bud. Insects are attracted to flowers because flowers make sweet nectar and pollen. Insects drink nectar and as they fly between the plants, they also carry the sticky pollen on the plants from flower to flower. It is the pollen that makes plants produce new seeds. This is called pollination. The tiny seeds ripen. Birds peck the seeds in the flower heads. Some seeds are eaten and some are blown away by the wind. Some are caught in the animal fur and fall to the ground later. Seeds can be carried far away from the mother plant. In autumn, the sunflower withers and dies. The seeds that have not been eaten or carried away fall to the ground. These seeds will be ready to grow next spring. The seeds fall to the ground. Withered flower head.